Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. In these last couple episodes, we talked about the fate of the virtues and fruits of the Spirit in heaven, and now, let's discuss something related to them, sacrifices. It's been said that religion without sacrifice is useless, and I agree. You can claim to hold certain beliefs, but in the end, it's nothing more substantial than a philosophical viewpoint unless it alters the way you live your life in some way. There's a difference between a simple truth claim and an actual religion. Truth claims don't need to change our lives. Religions do. On Earth, it's often quite easy to make sacrifices, since we have a limited amount of resources, time, and energy to expend. Therefore, when we give up some of it for the sake of others, we've lost it ourselves, which makes it a sacrifice to do so. However, in Heaven, the Saints don't have a limited amount of resources, time, or energy. So the question becomes, how can they make actual sacrifices? There's one way, and it's described in the book of Revelation. And when he had opened the book, the four living creatures and the four and twenty ancients fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Revelation 5, 8 Here we see that those in heaven offer prayers to God. Prayers are also a form of sacrifice, even though nothing is lost by praying. In fact, we'll probably benefit overall from praying, there's also a good indication that those in heaven can offer not only their own prayers, but the prayers of those on earth. So some people can offer the sacrifices of others in heaven. Next time, wait a minute, would I be able to tolerate heaven if I don't like God's plan? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.